In this video, I will be covering the text editor in Mobile Sheets, which can be used to create or edit text and chord profiles. This video assumes that the viewer already has an understanding of chord pro syntax, which is covered in more detail in the text and chord profile settings and understanding chord profiles tutorial videos. The first thing I will demonstrate is how to create a new chord profile and use the text editor to enter Chord Pro directives, lyrics, and chords. To begin, tap the New action on the Songs tab to enter the Song Editor, and then tap the Compose icon on the Files tab. Mobile Sheets will ask for the name of the new file, which I will name test.cho. Tap OK to confirm the file name, and then the text editor will be displayed. The first thing that should be covered in the text editor is the insert action. When this action is pressed, a pop-up will be displayed with several options. The first option is Title, which will insert the Chord Pro Title Directive, which saves a fair amount of time as it can be a little time-consuming to enter symbols such as curly braces with the virtual keyboard. When Title is pressed, we can see that the directive is automatically inserted after the text cursor on the page, and the text cursor is placed after the colon so that the song title can be directly entered. I will use the title Yesterday. Once the title is entered, I will place the text cursor at the end of the line and hit Enter to move to the next line. Before covering the other options, I will now enter a couple lines of lyrics, which will be pasted for the sake of brevity. To enter a chord at a specific point, place the text cursor at the position in the lyrics where the chord should be displayed. Now tap Insert and select the Chord option. This will insert the brackets automatically with the text cursor placed inside them so that the chord letter can be directly entered. I will insert five chords into the lyrics. If the Comment option is selected in the Insert dropdown, a comment directive will be entered which is not displayed when the file is rendered. This can be helpful for entering notes or reminders into the document. The Chorus Section option will insert both the Start of Chorus and End of Chorus directives with the cursor placed in the middle. Similar to before, I will paste in a Chorus Section to save time. Inserting a Tab Section for Guitar Tablature is almost identical and just inserts the start of tab and end of tab sections. Lastly, the repeat chorus option enters the chorus directive, which will repeat the previously defined chorus section. If the overflow menu is tapped at the top right, Additional options will be displayed, including a preview option. 
If that is tapped, we can see that a rendered version of the file is displayed, which helps with understanding how the file will appear when viewed normally. Tap the Done action at the top right corner of the screen to dismiss the preview. With chord profiles, it's normally best to transpose the chords using the Transpose option in the Song Overlay, as this is just a temporary transposition that can be modified or cleared as needed without any impact to the underlying file. However, if the chords in the file itself should be transposed, this can be accomplished by tapping the Transpose option in the text editor. We can see that if we transpose a full key higher from F to G, that all of the chords in the file are transposed by two steps as well. If any of the chords in the file need to be moved, first tap the Move icon to enable a special mode for moving chords. If we now tap on a chord in the file, a toolbar is displayed with three icons, a left arrow, right arrow, and check mark. If the left arrow is tapped, the chord will be moved one character to the left. Similarly, if the right arrow is tapped, the chord will be moved one character to the right. Once the chord is positioned correctly, tap the check mark to dismiss the toolbar. Tap the Move icon again to disable that mode. If the Overflow icon is tapped, we can see a few other options. The first is the Text Size option, which provides a way to increase or decrease the text editor font size. The last option is the Chord Insertion Mode. If this is tapped, it enables a special mode for inserting chords. When tapping in the middle of lyrics, chord brackets will be automatically inserted at that location. This provides a way to quickly add a lot of chords without having to use the Insert dropdown for each one. When finished inserting chords, tap the Chord Insertion Mode option in the Overflow menu again to disable it. Tap Save to save the changes to the Chord Pro file. We can then tap OK to save the changes in the Song Editor, and tap the new song to load it. In order to edit an existing text or chord profile, there are two ways to accomplish this. The first way is to select the song using the text or chord profile on the library screen, tap Edit Song to enter the Song Editor, and then on the Files tab, tap the Compose icon, which will enter the text editor. The second way is to load the song normally, and then tap the A icon at the top right corner of the Song Editor, and tap the Edit File option in the pop-up that is displayed. If the file is edited and the changes are saved, the file will be reloaded to reflect the changes that were made. It's very important to note as explained in the Understanding Chord Profiles tutorial video that metadata changes are not processed if the file is edited, as those are only processed when the file is first imported. The last thing that should be mentioned is that when editing a text file, 
a number of features are not available in the text editor, including the Move, Insert, and Chord Insertion Mode actions, as text files don't support directives and don't place chords inside brackets. As demonstrated in this video, the text editor in Mobile Sheets provides a simple interface for making basic modifications to new or existing text and chord profiles. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in Mobile Sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.